Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Out here on the range, just chilling, enjoying the day. And, what are we up to? Well, what are we always up to? We're out here shooting stuff. That's what I do. And today is no exception. I've brought out three awesome rounds, three awesome guns, and some of these Callaway golf balls. Yeah, I think Casey, he hooked us up with these. Uh, thus far, these have been a blast shooting them with other calibers. I've done two other videos. If y'all haven't seen that, go check them out. It was cool. But today, we're going to see what the big boys will do and how far they'll launch them. First up, we have the 350 Legend. And my little mini revolver here. Yeah, man. This is a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, no BFR has been a good one. Had a lot of fun with that. And we have some brownie. 155 grain. These are BXR rapid expansion rounds. So it's going to be quite unique to see what it does to that golf ball. That's if we can retrieve the golf ball. Now I'm telling y'all right now, if it goes past 60 foot, that's where the orange targets are right there, and goes over in there, I'm not going out there. I bet there's anacondas, sharks, and God knows what down in there. I'm not going there. So if they go further than that, no retrieval. But this is going to be fun to shoot them with. And now we're not stopping there. We're just going to keep kicking it up a notch. Second up, I brought out the FK Burno. Chambered in 7.5 FK. This thing, I think I've had it for about a year now. This is an awesome pistol and an awesome round. I grabbed some of the, uh, which ones were these? That's 95. 95 grain, jacketed hollow point. Yeah, these things are no joke. Like I was telling, I seen my buddy Hootie Who take down a ram with one shot from this. Yeah, this is uh, that's a lot of bullet in that package right there. And of course, what would big calibers be without bringing out my little buddy? Oh yeah, my deagle. And 50 AE. This is without a doubt my favorite range planker. And I've had that thing for a good while now. Too much fun going on with that. And for it, we got a 325 grain full metal jacket, flat nose. Yeah, uh, if I don't miss it, that ought to hit that thing with a vengeance, no doubt about it. But you see the setup I got here using a shotgun shell for a key. That way I can get down here at some angle. Bang. And hopefully these things will just go flying out through there. Uh, part of me wants them not to go so far so I can see the damage. But the other part of me wants these things to just take flight and be gone. Y'all throw down in the comments what you think is going to happen. Let me get the other camera cranked up. And we'll make these shots. Alright, let me get some ears on. These big boys are loud. Looks like first up, we're about 350 Legend. We don't even need to turn the red dot on this time. Get that clock around there where she's going to go bang. Oh, yeah. Let's say, guys, throw down in the comments what you think. I think this is going to send it further than the 60 foot mark, no doubt. A good angle at it. Fire and all. Far out. 
hoping that y'all seen that because that went out to that cable we have at 55 yards. Yeah, man. Now that was cool. Very good, very good. Set that bad boy over there out of the way. Man, I don't know if any of these others are going to beat that. I mean, 55 yards. Because I've seen it land up there right under the cable. Yeah, that, uh, that was just, that's too much fun. I can stand out here and shoot stuff like this all day long. Alright, let's try our 7.5. I know this is an awesome round. And it should send that thing into orbit as well. Alright. come all the way back. I hope the camera caught that. One out there at a 60 foot. I believe I seen it hit that concrete and bounce back. And it's right down there. So we will we'll be able to see what kind of damage that bullet done when it went through. That was wild. But if it wouldn't have hit that, uh, we might have got 70, 80 feet out of it. Alright guys, last but not least, our little old Deagle in the 5.0 caliber. She's off safe and ready to rock. Alright, let's launch this thing plumb up there far away. didn't even make it 60 feet. Well, I gotta say, that was a little disappointing. Let's do the 50 one more time. I don't know what happened there, but I would like to have a second shot with that 50. Let's try a red shell. Alright, Callaway. Maybe the way I aimed, or, I don't know. But I thought for sure a 50 would put it on up there. Maybe the impact is just too much. But it's worth the second shot, though, ain't it? Alright. 50 AE, take two. at the exact same place. We're going to call that about, I don't know, 50 foot? Yeah, let me go see if I can get that one. And we'll check out this other 7.5 that bounced all the way back to us. All right, first off, that's 7.5. Here it is right here. Let's say we got 60 foot out there because what he done, it went up there and hit that concrete and bounced off and come back here. So, technically we call that 120 feet because it traveled that far. And there's the little entrance. See a little burn hole right there? And man, there's the exit. That's the first round that has really gutted that really well. That was cool. All right. Hate to go in the weeds, but it ain't that far. Let's see if we can find one of them that we shot with the 50. Let's say we got about 50 feet out of it. You would figure as brightly colored as them are that a man could see it. Found one. 
figured I was going to get a snake bit before I found it. Now this is a trip. Let's get down here out of these weeds. There's the entrance and just a little bit of exit. I expected a lot more than that. Now that was a trip. You know, the, the 75, when it done well, it throwed it out there to 60 and it would have went further if it didn't hit that concrete block. But it tore up the golf ball so far the best out of anything that we've been able to retrieve. The 50 cal, like I say, I had to do that one twice. Both of them landed roughly around the same spot, around 50 feet. Really didn't do that much of a damage. Uh, if I had to guess previously, I would have got that one wrong. But now, the BFR 350 Legend, that was no joke. Maybe I just had the perfect angle, the perfect shot. But it went up there to our cable, which from here is 55 yards. And no, I'm not getting up there to retrieve it. But we got some fantastic distance out of that, and that was well worth the shoot. Well, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that. I enjoyed shooting it. That was a lot of fun. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, we still have some golf balls. If you can think of something else you would like for us to shoot, throw it down. Uh, if I'm able to, I'll be happy to do it. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon, and please like, share, and subscribe. Again, appreciate it much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.